And we're also extraordinary and excellent in the Messiah, Jesus Christ. You looking for the sign? Locust. Famine. Wars and rumors of wars. Earthquake in divers place. Burning mountains, this is the volcanoes. Sun, moon, stars, thunder and lightning. Last days, all these things must come to pass. Mark chapter 13, verse 20. It is written, And except that the Lord had shortened those days, no flesh should be saved, but for the elect's sake, whom he had chosen, he had shortened the days. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew chapter 24, verses 3 and 4. It is written, And as he sat upon the mount of olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered, and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Mark chapter 13, verse 4. Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled? Final scripture, Deuteronomy chapter 29, verses 3 and 4. It is written, The great temptations which thine eyes have seen, the signs and those great miracles, Yet the Lord hath not given you an heart to perceive, and eyes to see, and ears to hear, unto this day. Saints, be patient. Let's get busy sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Share it with your friends and your family. We are living in perilous times right now. And we are getting warnings from the heavens. Father is a father that loves. He is kind, merciful, and he has grace upon our lives. Our souls are precious to him. Give your life to Jesus today while you still have an opportunity. Then Peter said unto them, Repent, that's where it starts, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, every one of you, 
for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. It is a promise to the generations that call on the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is our only hope. He died for you and I so we can have eternal life. The lost, those that are oppressed, hungry, in distress, need you. We pray on this channel that we all seek his face. He will give us strength. Be strong. Never give up. That's what the enemy wants you to do, is to give up. Never give in. Always be confident, strong, good courage. And he will keep you and he will help you through these trying times that we are living in. You have a blessed day.